This is Unit 7 of Speak and Read Eastern Arabic. In this unit, you will learn to ask about the identity of people, to inquire about the meaning of certain words in Arabic or English, and how to introduce people to one another. Listen to this Arabic conversation in a hotel lobby where a couple is picking you up to show you around the city. مرحبا. أهلين. أنت مستر براون؟ نعم. شرفنا. هذا زوجي. شرفنا. وين زوجتك؟ زوجتي مو هون. Listen to it again. مرحبا. أهلين. أنت مستر براون؟ نعم. شرفنا. هذا زوجي. شرفنا. وين زوجتك؟ زوجتي مو هون. How do you say you addressed to a man? أنت. أنت. Do you remember the word for American? أميركي. أميركي. Say to a man, you are American. أنت أميركي. أنت أميركي. Ask a man if he is American. أنت أميركي. أنت أميركي. How would someone ask you if you were an Englishman? أنت إنجليزي. أنت إنجليزي. How would the question sound if you were a woman? أنت إنجليزي. أنت إنجليزي. Arabs have their own terms of address. However, they may use foreign terms with foreign people. They may use Mr. and Mrs. with English-speaking people. Here's how someone might ask you whether you are Mr. Brown. Into Mr. Brown? Into Mr. Brown? How would someone ask you if you are Mrs. Johnson? Into Mrs. Johnson? Into Mrs. Johnson? Here's how an unmarried woman is addressed. Anise. Anise. If her first name were Rima, for example, you could address her as Anise Rima. Anise Rima. A married woman is addressed in several ways, one of which is this. Sit. Sit. It rhymes with the English word sit. How do you address a married woman? Sit. Sit. If her name were Iman, for example, you could call her? Sit Iman. Sit Iman. You may, however, Address men using their first names. If you don't know the name, you may use a term by itself similar to Mr. Here it is. Sayyid. Sayyid. This term is usually preceded by another word, yeah, when addressing someone whose name you don't know. Say it with yeah. Yeah, Sayyid. Yeah, Sayyid. This is more like Mr. or Sir. How do you address a man whose name you don't know? Ya Sayyid. Ya Sayyid. Suppose a man comes up to you in the hotel lobby and introduces himself. He would say, I am so-and-so. How does he say I? Anna. Anna. Say, I am Michael. Remember, there is no am in Arabic. Anna Michael. Anna Michael. If a woman's name is Stephanie, how does she introduce herself? Anna Stephanie. Anna Stephanie. It is polite to respond to people introduced to you by the following phrase which is similar to pleased to meet you or how do you do? Sharafna. 
Tcherevna. This is an invariable phrase. Its form does not change whether used by men or women. How do you say, pleased to meet you? Tcherevna. Tcherevna. Do you remember how to say hello? Marhaba. Marhaba. How do you respond to this greeting? Ahlen. Ahlen. How do you ask about the well-being of someone? Kif al-hal? Kif al-hal? How do you respond to this question if you were a woman? Niha. Niha. But if you are a man, you should say Mnih. Mnih. Here's the word for husband. Zoj. Zoj. How do you say husband in Arabic? Zoj. Zoj. Here's how to say my husband. Zoji. Zoji. Note that my is represented by an E sound added to the end of the word. Say my husband again. Zoji. Zoji. Do you remember the word for this for the masculine? Hada. Hada. Say, this is my husband. Remember there is no is in Arabic. Hada zoji. Hada zoji. This is the word for my wife. Zojti. Zojti. Notice the similarity in pronunciation with my husband. The only difference is the T sound preceding the final possessive E ending. Say my wife again. Zojti. Zojti. Do you remember the word for this for the feminine? Hey. Hey. Say, this is my wife. Hey, Zojti. Hey, Zojti. How do you say, how do you do? Cherefna. Cherefna. Suppose you are in a souvenir shop and you want to inquire about something. How do you say, what's this? Shuhada. Shuhada. What's the word for what? Shu. Shu. Nouns and adjectives in Arabic are either masculine or feminine. You have already learned to distinguish some of them. Say again the form of the word for this used with the masculine nouns. Hada. Hada. Do you remember how to say, this is my husband? Hada zoji. Hada zoji. And what is the form of the word for this used with feminine nouns? Hey. Hey. Do you remember how to say, this is my wife? Hey, Zojti. Hey, Zojti. So, if you are inquiring about some object which you know is masculine, here's what you should say. Shuhada. Shuhada. But if you know the thing is feminine, you should use the feminine form of this. Here's what's this, referring to a feminine thing. 
Remember that if you don't know the gender of the object to which you are referring, either phrase will do. Shuhei. Shuhei. Here's the word for who. Min. Min. Ask who is this, referring to a man. Min hada. Min hada. How do you ask who is this, referring to a man? Min hada. Min hada. Ask who is this, referring to a woman. Min hai. Min hai. How do you ask who is this, referring to a woman? Min hai. Min hai. Do you remember the word for where? When. When. Do you remember the word for marge square? Sahte el marge. Sahte el marge. Ask where the marge square is. When sahte el marge? When sahte el marge? Let's build the question up from the end, word by word. المرجي ساحة المرجي وين ساحة المرجي؟ Rima is a girl's name. Ask where Rima is. وين ريما؟ وين ريما؟ Do you remember the word for my wife? Zojti. Zojti. Here's how to say your wife addressed to a man. Zoshtak. Zoshtak. The stem of the word zojt is followed by the uk ending because it is addressed to a man. How do you say your wife? Zoshtak. Zoshtak. Ask a man where his wife is. Wen zoshtak. Wen zoshtak. How do you say my husband? Zoji. Zoji. Here's how to say your husband. Zojik. Zojik. The word zoj is followed by the ik ending, indicating that the word is addressed to a woman. Say your husband addressed to a woman. Zojik. Zojik. Ask a woman where her husband is. Wen zojik. Wen zojik. Do you remember the word for here? Hon. Hon. How do you say not here? Muhon. Muhon. Say, my wife is not here. Zoshti muhon. Zoshti muhon. Suppose you are in a square and you want to know whether it is the Marge square. Remember that the word for square is feminine. How do you say, is this the Marge square? Hey, sahat al marge? هي ساحة المرجة. Do you remember the word for the Umayyad mosque? Remember that the word for mosque is masculine. How do you say, is this the Umayyad mosque? هذا الجامع الأموي. 
هذا الجامع الأموي؟ The word for hotel is also masculine. How do you say hotel? Hotel. Hotel. Now ask, is this the Sheraton Hotel? Hada hotel Sheraton? Hada hotel Sheraton? Let's build it up from the end, word by word. Sheraton. Hotel Sheraton. Had the hotel Sheraton? Ask where the Sheraton Hotel is. When hotel Sheraton? When hotel Sheraton? Do you remember the Arabic word for hotel? Fundoq. Fundoq. What are the words for the sham hotel? Fundoq sham. Fundoq sham. Ask, is this the sham hotel? Hada fundoq sham. هذا فندق الشام. Suppose it is not the Sham Hotel. You may be told, no, the Sham Hotel is over there. Listen. لا, فندق الشام هنيك. لا, فندق الشام هنيك. How do you say, no, the Sham Hotel is over there? لا فندق الشام هنيك لا فندق الشام هنيك Do you remember how to say do you speak English? بتحكي انجليزي بتحكي انجليزي Suppose you have asked someone a question and the answer was too fast for you to understand. This is how you say, could you speak slowly? ممكن تحكي شوي شوي. ممكن تحكي شوي شوي. Let's build it up from the end. شوي. شوي شوي. تحكي شوي شوي. ممكن تحكي شوي شوي. What is the word for slowly? شوي شوي. شوي شوي. What is the word for you speak? تحكي. تحكي. What's the word for could? Mumkin. Mumkin. Say, could you speak slowly? Mumkin tehki shway shway. Mumkin tehki shway shway. But if the answer is repeated to you slowly and you still don't understand, you may say, I don't understand. Do you remember how to say that? Mafhimt. Mafhimt. This is a very useful phrase. Say it again. I don't understand. Mafhimt. Mafhimt. If the response contains a number, for example, and you still don't understand it, you can always say, write it down, please. Listen. Ktubu man fadlak. Ktubu man fadlak. 
Let's start with the words for please addressed to a man. Min fadlak. Min fadlak. Note the uk ending on the end of the word used when addressing a man. Say please to a man. Min fadlak. Min fadlak. How do you say please to a woman? Min fadlik. Min fadlik. Note the ik ending on the end used when addressing a woman. Say please to a woman. Min fadlik. Min fadlik. There is one word in this utterance for write it down. It is made up of the verb, to which is attached at the end in added part O. It stands for it, referring to the word for number, which is masculine in Arabic. Listen. Tubu. Tubu. How do you say, write it down? Tubu. Tubu. Say to a man, write it down, please. Ktubu min fadlak. Ktubu min fadlak. Suppose you want to know the Arabic meaning of a word, wine, for example, given that your interlocutor knows some English so that you can use it in other situations. You could ask, what's wine in Arabic? Shu wine bil Arabi. شو وين بالعربي؟ First you use the word for what. شو. شو. Since there is no word for is, you use the word wine after it, literally asking what wine. Here it is. شو وين. شو وين. The word for in Arabic stands for in the Arabic language. Here it is. Bil Arabi. Bil Arabi. The first B sound means in. The L sound that follows immediately is the definite article, meaning the Arabic, with the word language understood. Say the Arabic, meaning Arabic, or the Arabic language. Al Arabi. العربي. Say in Arabic. بالعربي. بالعربي. Ask what is wine in Arabic. شو وين بالعربي. شو وين بالعربي. Suppose you have come across an Arabic word whose meaning you don't know. You can ask an acquaintance what it means in English, if that person happens to know English. First, do you remember the word for English? Inglesi. Inglesi. How do you say in English, meaning in the English language? Bil Inglesi. Ask what is shurta in English? Shu shurta bil Inglesi. Shu shurta bil Inglesi. If the person you're asking knows English, he or she may tell you it is police. How do you ask what shurta is in English? شو شرطة بالإنجليزي؟ شو شرطة بالإنجليزي؟ Do you remember how to say goodbye? مع السلامة مع السلامة Goodbye. This is the end of Unit 7.